Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kerstetter and today I want to do another Ableton quick tip, this time on how to delete unused files living in your project folders. So a lot of you guys probably already know this, but when you have a project folder, uh, you have your .als file, this is your Ableton Live set, this is all the important information about your project. However, any of the audio that you're dealing with goes into your samples folder. And your samples folder will generally include it in imported folder, a process folder, and a recorded folder. Imports for collect all and save. Processed is for things like freezing, cropping, reversing, things like that. And recorded is for when you're recording audio directly into your computer. So when you're recording lots and lots of audio, you might find yourself in situations where your, your file sizes end up getting really, really huge. And to deal with that, it's really hard to go in here and know which of these audio files you're actually useful and which ones you're actually using and which ones are ones that you never ended up using. So this is especially important if you are a vocalist or an instrumentalist who records a lot of audio and you say you record 12 takes of something and you only use one of those 12 takes, those other 11 takes are just sitting there on your hard drive and it's hard to tell which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into live and we're gonna go to the file dropdown menu and we're gonna hit manage files. We're just gonna open up the file management section over here on the right side of the screen. And so we have manage set, which is gonna be just for this ALS file, or there's manage project. And this is really what we're looking for. This is uh, what we're gonna do. So I hit manage project. It's gonna analyze it real quick. It's gonna tell you what is in your project folder, how many live sets, how many clips, all that kind of stuff. If there's any missing files, they'll show up right here. Uh, if there's any files that are external, meaning that you need to collect all and save them if you wanna transfer from one computer to another, or if there's any unused files. And this is really the important part. This is what we're looking for. So this is going to analyze all of the .als files in your project folder, so all the different versions of your project, and it's going to see if there's any audio files in your samples folder that are not being used by any of your projects, meaning they're basically just sitting on your hard drive taking up space. In this case, it tells me there's 18 files of about almost 500 megabytes worth of files that I just don't need. So it says there's one recording, seven frozen samples, and 10 other samples. So if I want to start getting rid of these, I can hit show, they're gonna show up over on my browser on the right side of the screen. I can go ahead and hit right click and hit delete, and that will move it into the trash file on my computer's hard drive. Same thing over here. These are the frozen files that never actually made it into any version of this project. So I can right click and delete, and that will get rid of them automatically. And I can be pretty confident that these are not useful files. They didn't make it into any versions of the project. One thing that I would like to point out is the Ableton autosave system. So Ableton will automatically make backups of your project. If any of these files are being used in your auto backups, they will not show up in this list. So you either need to go through and go to your backup folder and like maybe delete those or get rid of them or move them around or something. Um, otherwise they won't show up here. So that's it. Hopefully that's really helpful. If you're somebody who records lots of audio, uh, these files are probably taking up a bunch of space on your hard drive and you don't really need them there. If you don't record a lot of audio, this is probably not super helpful. You probably don't really need that. Uh, but try it out for yourself. See if you notice any difference in your file sizes. This can be really useful if you're doing collaborations and you're sending projects back and forth and end up taking up a bunch of space and things get deleted and left behind. Just go ahead and get rid of those. Save yourself some space on your hard drive. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing a bunch of these Ableton quick tip videos as well as a bunch of other videos on different topics that I think are interesting. Uh, again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.